Joining us now with the details is Chief Fire Officer Errol Maynard. Good evening, Mr. Maynard. Good evening, Lisa. Good evening to Barbados. Oh, Mr. Mayor, give us a, the number of fires uh, for this year and how they compare to the same period in 2023. Okay, already for the year, we have had 28 calls for fires, and this is compared to 24 for last year, so we have increased by four fires thus far for the year. Mm -hmm. And this is across those, all mm -hmm, Go ahead. This is across the whole island, across uh, for the whole island. Um, including this, we have uh, an increase of one house fire over last year. Last year, this time, we had four house fires. Currently, we are at five. And from your experience, what are the most common causes of fires? And, and in most cases, they, you, you have a poor housekeeping. We constantly say that you need to keep your house or, or your surroundings clean and tidy. We have cases of carelessness. Um, some of the fires would have caused due to electrical problems um, that stems from either poor wiring or ancient wiring. And then we have appliances that are defective. Uh, affected that are poor ma poorly manufactured in some cases fans and and in other cases just ignorance as people attempt to perform to clean it around the house and in some cases they try to smoke up bees or mosquitoes and whatever and the fire will get there because of the environment and uh, based on the ignorance of the environment and what the high winds and such like can do. So what tips would you give to minimize the possibility of these fires? Well, that definitely is to, you, you must increase our, your vigilance. And that means you need to have good housekeeping, um, clean around your surroundings and inside of your house clean, um, have your appliances properly serviced and avoid leaving the ones that are not necessary to plug in plug them up before you leave home. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when you leave home, you should leave nothing in a socket that, which is necessary to be there. Um, the television, in most cases, you can leave, the refrigerator, but those things like toaster ovens and the microwave, the fan, uh, plug out when you're leaving home. Um, I know the fire service had raised this as, as an issue before, but are prank calls still a problem? Prank calls is definitely a problem. Thus far for the year, we had 17 prank calls or nuisance calls in which we have to respond. Somebody just probably love to see the fire truck on the, with the lights on the road and they call and give a prank call. We sometimes, we have no way of knowing whether it is uh, genuine. So we say when it doubt turn out and we will go. Now that means that we have our appliances, our personnel on the road at higher speeds than normal, and traveling with a large vehicle, and therefore the chances of injury, accident to um, involving the vehicle, the men on the truck, or the public is always in danger. And it also takes up our time because we could be addressing something that is more important or something that is real. So we definitely ask the public to desist from these prank calls. We have had. 17 for this year, and that's compared to 10 for last year. So definitely we need to address this particular thing. So Bajans, Barbadians definitely need to avoid these prank calls. Um, Chief Maynard, are there any other issues that are affecting the fire service in the delivery of their service, this critical service? Um, are you satisfied with the number of appliances, staffing? Are, are, are you having any other issues? Well, we, we need to replace some of our appliances, but that is a work in progress. We already ordered some, so we have we expect to have at least three of them um, in the next month or month and a half. And, uh, but we, um, uh, um, as it relates to personnel, we are working with the government to get the personnel right. So although we have some challenges, we are still surviving, and we, we still work with the public administration and the powers that be to make sure that we have adequate staff to manage and to take care and protect the citizens of Barrios.
So as we go into um, a new year 2024, what is the fire service's main message to Barbadians? Be your brother's keeper. If you, say some, if you see something that is not right, say something and we will do something. It means that we need to be a little bit more vigilant. Um, this year is projected to be a dry year than last year. We have some droughts and therefore the possibility of having even more fires than we had last year is, 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 is possible to have more fires than we have last year. And therefore, if you're not careful, then we can lose a property. And we don't want to lose you to lose your property. It's very difficult to replace a house or even a life. So we ask asking all Barbados to be more vigilant and be careful in all that you do. Chief Maynard, thank you very much. And you can hear more from Fire Chief Maynard on Friday when he will be on CBC's radio program. Let's talk about it on Q100.7 FM from 9 a.m.